education is a building block for our modern society. In today's world, our generation is dominated by the evolution of technology. Teenagers are so different from previous generations because we have grown up with technology around us. So we needed a change, a change in the way we are educated, a change in the way we work with others, a change in how we are prepared for the future. And that led to the introduction of Common Core. What is Common Core? Why is it significant? And how will it affect society in the future? This is the big question, and it won't be long before it is answered. Well, I'm going to say the history of the Common Core came from the executive branch. 48 superintendents and governors got together and talked about how to change our educational system and how to look at our standards so that we have common standards and that they're deeper than what we had before. But it was something that was a critical based upon the data that we were looking at from a variety of sources saying that our students were not as academically strong as they should be, and so what can we do to strengthen our curriculum and our teaching and learning practices across our country? They were actually written to ensure that all students end up having access to and have understanding of the standards they need to master. Therefore, the word common came into place because we need to have a common set of standards of excellence that students should experience. They're standards that prepare students for college and career. We knew that we had um, students who finished high school in many, many school districts and nationally who went to the two-year uh, two colleges or universities and were really not prepared for the kind of work they would be doing there. The old standards were just focused on can you repeat this task. So I call it monkey see monkey do. It's like I do something four times, you watch me do it, then you do what I did. And so when you have monkey see monkey do, you end up with a room full of trained monkeys. But nobody's really learning anything. The common core state standards, for example, in mathematics, um, you really are spending a lot more time on each concept before moving on to the next topic. It uses a new method of learning where you're not only regurgitating information, but you're actually learning how to use it and how to apply it. It, it allows much more creativity. It allows for a development of skills that you're going to need for the rest of your life. It allows for interaction with your peers that might not other, otherwise exist. It's a lot more group work, definitely, and a lot less of the teacher standing up in front and teaching. You have more aha moments, and that's the biggest difference. The aha moments is where the learning's happening. It's not because I get an A on a test. Um, students have been able to get A's on test by being able to regurgitate information and memorize rules. And now in math, we're asking students to express themselves and express their understanding of math. Students are doing experiments, collecting real world data. I, I take anatomy this year, and we're learning not like memorizing the bones, but what the bones actually do, what happens if you break a bone. Today, a couple of kids finished a, a project and they were high-fiving at the end. And I, have, I don't see kids high-fiving in math class. They were pumped. They worked the whole period, struggled the whole period, and they together made it through. And it was the perseverance that allowed them to have that moment. They didn't care what the answer was. It wasn't, hey, we got the right answer. It was, wow, we did this. We made it through. We came out okay on the other end. It's so much better. I mean, even though it's only our first year doing it, I'm already seeing like tremendous differences in the, in the kids. We can't just solve like four plus four anymore. It has to be like, why does four plus four equal eight? So I think that that will be good for the future generation, but not for the current. I think right now it's hard because people fear change. Last year, it was a lot of uh, taking notes uh, understanding what we were about to do and then the second half of class would be doing practice problems and then if we have time homework this time it's uh, more just practice problems instead of taking down notes the past like 11 years I've been learning math right it's been a teacher standing up there and talking to me and now this year my final year in high school it's different so maybe if they could have eased us into common core like that would have been cool they should just start it off with like one class, like class of like 2025 and then 
they should have done it for the next class and then the next class at that. I would improve the system personally by getting uh, the students' opinions on it because a lot of the students, like if you go on Twitter or Instagram or something like that, you'll see a lot of people posting about it, saying how it's really stupid and really dumb. Where personally, I think it has a lot of like potential, but they need to like get everyone's like opinions on it and then improve what they can from the student body, not from what a parent, a parents and teachers think. Again, this is what we call second order change. Second order change is, those are changes that are major. I get that it is hard converting to a completely different program that we're not used to, um, and that gets a lot of people frustrated, like me as well. But at the same time, you also have to think, in order to get everybody on the same page in terms of education, you have to start somewhere. But uh, right now, they they're trying and they're open to it and they understand this is the direction we're going they're just trying to break their old habits and just like teachers are too everyone's just trying to break some old habits and um, turn those into new habits mm -hmm. yeah I think it's pointing us in the right direction I don't I'm not here to say that Common Core is the answer to all education issues now and forevermore it's a, it's a journey we'll be doing it for some time we're in our third year in Pleasant Unified School District and this is our year of full implementation so I'm excited. I think this is important because our kids will be the ones deciding what the future looks like. It's you who decides. The promise we make to our children, the idea that no matter who they are, what they look like, where they start, how much their parents earn, they can make it if they try.